Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a very awesome tarot reading. And yeah, and we have at the bottom of the de deck Lucky. Lucky, and here is the Lucky sho Shoe Horse, right? And so yeah, this is a 47 and uh, this is a number 11. And uh, yeah, yeah, so this is, uh, it can be a lucky choice finally. Uh, uh, I mean, because it is... Uh, it's an 11, and so that is uh, a 2, right? Yeah. Spiritual cleansing. Let's see what else we have here. We have safe travel. Okay, so spiritual cleansing with safe travel, it kind of means that somebody is letting the universe or trusting their intuition here. It's really what that is about, right? Trusting the universe, trusting spirit, right? And uh, they're going to have safe travel now. So, I mean, there could be a real trip, but it might be allegorical. It could just be that somebody's coming, right? So uh, they're being, and they might be cleansing, a spiritual cleansing. It's a 50. And here we see this eye, the third eye, it's crying, right? So spiritual cleansing is a purification, and it's not fun. It's somebody who suffers, like the night of the soul, and, oh, I didn't think life was really this, and I didn't understand myself, and, and oh, and uh, I thought I wanted such, such and such, and or why, how, how, why aren't things working out for me, things like that. So somebody went through a tough awakening here, and now they're being, like, like protected by spirit. Yeah, and now we have trust. See, there you go. And here's the white light here, and somebody is trusting in that. Uh, they are. Wow, it's kind of a trip. Let's see what we have over here uh, with these cards. And we have inner peace. Wow, somebody had a spiritual cleansing and now they have inner peace, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe the house is clean too, a spiritual cleansing, right? Their house, them, right? Inner peace uh, with the koi fish. That's beautiful, it is. And then we have stillness. So really interesting with stillness because I was listening to uh, this mystic today, and, uh, she was talking about stillness, and, uh, yeah, stillness is, is a place where you kind of get to know yourself, and you're just very quiet, and you, you're meditating, and, uh, when you do that, you're able to kind of really know yourself, I guess that's the best way, uh, stillness, stillness allows for possibilities, and opportunities, and change and growth, yeah, to come in, uh, really interesting, and the stillness is here, he's a swan, so, or she, right, but, uh, swans made for life, so whatever the stillness and the spiritual cleansing is bringing, besides inner peace, uh, and trust, uh, trusting in this white light, but that is kind of a, a pre, like a, you know, uh, leading up to this inner peace, but, you know, it's, it, the stillness here is bringing, somebody something lucky yeah it's like it's not it's not even really lucky it's somebody's birthright or like Sagittarius this could definitely be you because this is your reading but it could be somebody close to you who is in the stillness who has uh, kind of experienced spiritual cleansing yeah and so now they are lucky because they are not pushing the river or fighting the universe no they're not they're going with their soul, they're going with their soul and their intuition, so now there's these opportunities are coming in, right, that's how it always works, uh, and you know, maybe they're seeing that as lucky, they could, they could be seeing, or you know, this could be a feeling of luckiness, because somebody woke up, they're like, wow, I'm lucky, I woke up here, and I, I know the truth now about what life is, and it's not what they've been telling us, no, it's not, right, and we have the bone collector, and the bone collector is a number one. So the bone collector, here's this nice Asian lady sitting there. She's got this aura above her head. A bunch of bones are around her. A clock is here. The rabbit is here for uh, fertility. But she's happy. And then, you know, these, these, these old carcasses are here. But the, the point about the bone collector is it's kind of like collect the wisdom but leave the past behind, the bone collector. So all these bones represent her wisdom. And now she can have a new beginning. She's actually leaving it but gaining a new beginning, leaving the past. That's what the bone collector, you can't live in the present if you have your head in the past or your heart. No, it just doesn't, you don't have enough energy for that. Uh, and that's not how it works, right? The universe says, decide where you want to be. Uh, you want to be in the past, then you're not going to have a future. That's how it is, right? 
Yeah, and that's why we are supposed to stay present and in the moment. That's, yeah, wide open. And so wide open is a recognition. And this lady standing there, Sagittarius, and she's looking out at this kind of bright light, all this white light in front of her. Uh, and there's like a butterfly coming by, but she's looking, she looks, feels like her life is wide open with possibilities. Look at that. Very beautiful here. Um, and maybe that, maybe you're just a bone collector, Sagittarius, right? You collect bones. Uh, is, isn't that taxidermy? Is it? No, I think they, what do they do? Taxidermy. They still have their, they still have like hairs or fur, not hair, but fur yeah, on the animals. And uh, let's see what we have. And this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and anybody, because these are for the collective. Yes, they are. Mm hmm. And somebody's coming here, Sagittarius. Somebody in love with you. Yeah. And Three of Cups. Let's do a past, present, and future. Uh, we will, even though time is fluid and everything happens at the same time because uh, the past, present, and the future are stacked. Yeah, that's very interesting and, and a whole other video uh, to talk about, right? And so here in the past, there was, there was a victory and there was a loss because here's the Five of Swords. And it really can talk about chaos and conflict and mind games because these are swords but um there's something that's being left here in the past because of the bone collector maybe it's you know somebody's poor habits uh ego they're leaving out something like that could be but it could be something physical as well right so we have uh some type of victory and loss here and uh, temperance, there you are, Sagittarius, the Three of Cups. Somebody made a decision to, like, defeat something or let it, or released it, maybe, right? These people are released. He let them go. He took their swords and released them, basically. Uh, but, you know, uh, this is in the past. This is for joy. Somebody wants joy and happiness in their life, right? And you could be saying, well, we all do. But in this reading, somebody's going for it. Yeah, that's what they're going for. They're not just waiting for it to happen because it just doesn't work like that. So there could have been spiritual growth here with temperance, right? Bringing this harmony and balance and inner peace because we saw the spiritual cleansing. Now, in the past, let's get a card. Let's see what we have here, Sagittarius. Let's get a card on the Five of Swords. This is at the center of the past. We have the Strain card. In the eight of pentacles see this is what i mean that somebody has courage to go after what they're into what they really want where they're devoted what really inspires them here he is on his job and he's very inspired inspired this is somebody who wants to make an effort they do and uh they feel like they are aligned with kind of with you sagittarius because uh aligned with the joy that you guys both share together or something like that and so here, this Eight of Pentacles is about, I want to do my best and I'm willing to let defeat something. I'm willing to take a loss somewhere in my life and I have the courage because of the spiritual growth here, Sagittarius. That's not just you, right? Don't be in your ego and says that, say that's just me in the reading, all right? Just kidding. This is about spiritual growth. can be healing, right? But it is balance and harmony that's what it's about let's see what else we have could be a leo here possibly and let's go ahead and get cards and we have the strength card twice in the reading so this is self-mastery because of spiritual cleansing or awakening somebody could have got their butt kicked and said wake up here about your life and who you really are and what the true meaning of life and how somebody was was believing in illusions like, in other words, just fear, or they didn't know what love really was, or they didn't understand their own, their own soul, something like that. Uh, because there's definitely an upgrade when we have trust and with the white light and we have spiritual uh, cleansing and stillness. Yeah, stillness is huge. This is actually necessary, stillness, to sit alone with yourself and feel your body and then feel it go away and feel yourself. Just feel your soul. Yeah. Interesting there. There's more to it, of course. Uh, it's pretty simple, though, but there's a little bit more there. It can be explained, you know, a little bit differently. Definitely it can. And here in the, in the uh, right here, Sagittarius, 
in the current situation is the strength card, the seven of wands and the ace of wands. This is, I'm going to have courage or I've like raised my consciousness. My vibration is higher. I'm a better person. I have more courage. I, I trust in myself more. I trust in the universe and I'm going after this. It's been overwhelming. It has, uh, it's been difficult and that's what spiritual cleansing is a difficult uh, upgrade with your consciousness, right? So here we have him fighting back or resisting somebody because here it is underneath the seven, five of swords, which is a defeat. Yeah. And here it is. This person is either resisting or fighting for you or standing up for themselves. Somebody stands up for, for their, for their life. That's what somebody does here. They're like, Hey, I'm not living this life. I'm shoot. I'm, I'm my own master. I'm stepping up for myself. That's what they do. And if they have to leave something out over here, they're like, fine and dandy, let me do that. So here's the Ace of Wands, and I'm doing this so I can have a passionate new opportunity or an inspiring one with Sagittarius. Yeah, that's what that's all about. So let's see what else we have. Uh, and in the near future, let's get the right cards. We have Temp Judgment, the Death card reversed, and the Ten of Cups. I mean, this reading, it's, it's so beautiful and so clear. And so judgment is a decision. But in this reading, th there's been a decision long made because long time ago, because that's what this strength card is with the five of swords. I have the courage to defeat something, to let something go. The fives are talk about ending, chapters ending. That's what fives are about. Challenging chapters that, that end. And so somebody has done this like, purposely because the strain card is here with courage and self mastery. So in the near future, which is here, judgment, we're going to cover the naked people here. We are, uh, so we don't have any problems here, right? So we have judgment, the death card and the 10 of cups. And so this is like a rebirth. This can be forgiveness, but this is like, this is like somebody's coming to declare their love for you that they don't want it to end with you. And that they want their happily ever after. And that you are the happily ever after for them. And we see it here in the near future. This way. We see it here. Temperance. The Ace of Wands. The, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you are there ever after here, Sagittarius. No doubt, right? Uh, and you're, you bring them peace. Inner peace. And there's nothing better than that. Than to be... Uh, to wanting to be with somebody who is passionate and inspiring and they bring you peace. Oh my goodness. Right. I feel like this, this awakening spiritual cleansing has, uh, brought somebody peace. Yeah. It's like they had a whole bunch of, uh, you know, uh, kind of, uh, horrible bacteria on their hand that, you know, was going to cause them a great illness and they were able to, and it hurt really bad and they suffered for a week and they finally, washed it off, right? And that was the cleansing, but they had to suffer first, right? And so here we have, uh, and now we have in the past, we have the three of cups, of strength card judgment. This is like, I have the courage to make this decision. I want rebirth. Uh, I, and there could be forgiveness. Uh, maybe somebody's asking you for forgiveness. They could, uh, maybe they live at a distance. We have safe travel, uh, but this is protected. That's really what this means. This is blessed right? This is blessed by spirit. It's protected. And here we have, maybe it's a reunion, three of cups. Judgment can definitely uh, speak of a reunion, but if not, this is somebody coming. They made a decision because you bring them joy and you are there happily ever after. And in the current situation here, we see five of swords, seven of wands. I'm resisting something. So I will defeat something because I don't want this to end. Uh, with Sagittarius and you might know this person maybe they are actually new in your life uh, and they let something else go because they see the potential I mean huge right we have wide open that's too beautiful for words right with the ten of cups and the ace of wands we're going to end this reading thank you so much for joining me uh, get your psychic reading Sagittarius they're all accurate yeah they're accurate I'm a Silva grad and I always get feedback so I would know this uh, and we do a tarot spread if you would like, or an I Ching reading, but we do them on the phone or a Google meet and they're lots of fun and very empowering and very personal. Uh, and you can find out either about your own situation, 
uh, right? You know, maybe you have kind of some doubts about something or somebody else, anybody, romantic or otherwise. Thanks so much. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit the little bell, Sagittarius, in order to receive my notifications. And if you would like a psychic reading, uh, just click down below uh, on the calendar and you can book that there. Thanks so much.